Welcome back. We're helping families get a jump start on their summer reading lists with some recommendations from the Fletcher Free Library. Joining us now is Megan Butterfield, the Youth Library Manager. Thank you for being here. Thank you for having me. So let's start with the little ones. What books do you have for them? We've got a couple of brand new books that are terrific for summer reading. Um, one that just came out is called A Day With No Words. That's by Tiffany Hammond. Um, and it tells the story of a boy with autism and how he goes through his day um, communicating without using language. Uh, he uses a tablet to communicate and his family uses other nonverbal strategies. Um, it's gorgeous illustrations. The author is an autistic mother, a storyteller, and an educator. Highly recommend. Uh, we've also got 100 Mighty Dragons, all named Broccoli. This is a hilarious book by David La Rochelle. Um, my coworker says it is hysterical, adorable, and math centric and that they gleefully do the subtraction and addition of dragons throughout the book. They also love the unexpected names and portraits of the dragon babies at the end. Total kindergartner slam dunk. That and does. Yeah, that definitely does. What other what other ones do you have for them? Uh, one more for the younger kids is a brand new book in the First Conversations series. This book is called Everybody, A First Conversation About Bodies. Other books in this series have talked about issues like race, gender, consent. They do an amazing job of making complicated and tricky discussions accessible for kids and families. This is a great book for fans of Tyler Fetter's book, Bodies Are Cool. And how about the older kids? What do you have for them? Um, so there's a great new middle grade graphic novel by Matt Tavares. Uh, it is fictional, but based on true events. This book is called Hoops. Uh, it takes place in 1976 in Wilkins, Indiana. Um, and the boys basketball team is very successful and very supported by the team, but nobody seen uh, by the town, but nobody seems to know that there is a girls basketball team as well. This takes place just after Title IX was passed and it focuses on Judy, Cindy and Lisa as they fight for equal recognition for their sports. And um, what else for older kids? We've also got a uh, first book in a new fantasy series. Uh, the series is called Legends of Lotus Island, and book number one is called The Guardian Test. Uh, this is a fantasy series for middle grade readers, perfect for readers who love animals and magic, and book number two comes out in July. Very cool. What about for teens? So for teens, uh, I've got two great books we're excited about. Uh, the first one is called The Lesbiana's Guide to Catholic School. That's by Sonora Reyes. Uh, takes place uh, in a Catholic school. Main character Yami has been outed at her previous school and transferred to Slayton Catholic, where she decides she's going to try to hide her queer identity. It's funny. It's moving. My colleague says, I would have loved to have been able to read this book when I was younger. And then finally, we also have a horror book for teens. Uh, this is called Man Made Monsters by Andrea L. Rogers. Uh, Andrea is enrolled in the Cherokee Nation. And this uh, selection of short stories traces the history of an extended Cherokee family from the 1830s to the present and even into the future and uh, documents their encounters with the supernatural, uh, a host of monsters from Cherokee traditions and beyond. Ooh, sounds interesting. A lot of options there. Megan, thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Coming up this year's